and you guys have asked so many times, what is that pink blanket? So, I have purchased four more blankets, and we are going to sew them together and show you how to do it. You were in the road! <laughs> guys, don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> Good. Did you say good morning? No. Oh. Good, good morning! morning. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. It's Sunday afternoon, actually, but Peter went to church this morning. I did. And... That was fun. It's always fun to go back to our home church. So, that was a good morning, and it's sunny and cool. I love fall weather when it's sunny and cool. Look. Oh, my. And just pulled out. Anyway, fall is not over yet. There's a pretty fall tree, and there's Peter's face. Okay, so you guys, many people have asked me about my pink blanket, but before I continue the story, I shall show you the art gallery. Rachel's work throughout the years, and yeah, so anyway, okay. Um, my pink blanket. Um, yes, it's four baby blankets sewn together. So, I, I used to babysit, and the kids had these amazingly soft cotton blankets. I loved them so much, and I was so jealous of these babies with these blankets. So then I was like, wait, I'm an adult. I can use a baby blanket if I want to. So I bought four of them, and my mom sewed them together for me. And you guys have asked so many times, what is that pink blanket? So I have purchased four more blankets. We are going to sew them together and show you how to do it. And Oliver will be sleeping on the bed while we sew. Are you happy? I'm going to get you. Or not. So two of the polka dot ones and then one of these, one of these. Um, so this one I guess maybe, is this directional or no? Ye no. No, I what, guess it's not. it's every other one? I guess so, yeah. So what are we going to do? This, so, this here yeah. and then the other polka dot Great. down there. Great, okay. perfect. So we're just going to iron the edges to get them. Because they're kind of wrinkly. Because the, the material is really kind of stretchy and gauzy. So we're just going to iron the edges so that when we sew them, they are flat. And I have bought these blankets at like Marshall's TJ Maxx on clearance. And they come in like, you can get them in packs of multiples and that sort of thing. It works out to be about... I think like $3 a blanket or something like that. I mean, you can buy them brand new at Target for really expensive. Or you can go to Marshall's and wait for them on clearance, whatever. I think you can buy this fabric, though, by the yard. But I dare say it's just cheaper to do it this way. Because the, the edges are already hemmed. And um, sometimes buying the fabric, it looks like it's really expensive to buy it off the bolt. Okay, so. so we are going to overlap and then zigzag stitch. So overlap by like, what is that, quarter inch, half inch? Just, yeah, the kind of the, yeah. The little edges. Yeah, maybe quarter inch. Quarter -ish. inch ish. And then do the zigzag stitch on the sewing machine. Okay, so. <laughs> an interesting one. We're trying to find the zigzag um, stitch. And I think the idea with the zigzag is that, does it give a little bit of stretch to the stitching or? Okay, so we're overlapping the seamed area basically. And it's gonna be a little tough to get over this. Where the hems are already yeah, folded. Yeah, really fat there. So let me start in here. Okay, and then I'm just adjusting as we go. Great. That is awesome. So 
So readjust and continue as we go. And since these, this fabric is kind of gauzy and stretchy, <clears throat> the hems that it comes with, they are perfect. But we're just going to line them up the best we can and it'll work out. And my blankets that my mom sewed together, the pink ones, from a couple years ago. I've been using them for a couple years and I haven't had any problems with them, so it's worked out. I've seen on, I think Aiden and Anais' website, they sell adult size blankets like this, but they like are a couple hundred dollars. I think they're like thicker or something. I don't know, but I was like, that is. Oh, is it like the, uh, the extra the, thick one? Oh, the dream blanket. Thing? Yeah, I think it's sort of like that, but I think it's like, um, bamboo cotton or something crazy. I don't know. So it was like hundreds of dollars. So as you can see, some of these blankets are cut a little bit different. And because of the stretchiness of the fabric, when you get to the end, it might be a little bit longer on one. So we're just going to try to less stretch. Give a little, polka dot one. I'm going to give a little pull on the shorter one. And maybe we'll be able to even it out by the end. Yeah. And if not, hey, yeah, that's just fine. enjoy it the way it is, right? Yep. So we decided to pin the end and see if we can get it to adjust around. That's my technical term. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. All right, so we're stretching it out to get the other blankets laid out. Is that right? I've already ironed the anchor one. Is the anchor one like ginormous? Oh, the anchor's huge. <gasps> the anchor one is so big. What's up oh, with that? We'll just have to... And now, my mom and dad, Peter and I and Ollie, are going to see Snoopy, the new movie. Snoopy. Off we go. I love leaves. Leaves are cool. So is, Snoo is this going to be like Charlie Brown? Or Snoopy? Both. Are I they think. the same? Yeah. Well, that was really cute. I mean, just watch Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Oliver, like, usually never um, moves when we're in the movies. Like, at the very end, he might stretch or something. Well, he stood up was like standing there. We were like, what? What's wrong? Lay down. It was like halfway through three yeah. quarters of the movie. He's just like standing there. And I was like, something's wrong. Yeah. So I looked down in the floor and there's a big puddle of liquid. The that, people behind us. It had rolled down. It was like a cement floor under it. So. And then he was just like, I can't lay down there, people. <laughs> so we moved him over like toward my parents and he laid down and then he stood up. Another person spilled! There were like three spills in our, like that had rolled down the... <laughs> so for like the last 10 minutes of the movie, Oliver just stood there in front of Mary. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, what is happening? It's kind of like, oh wait, <laughs> this sky is pretty. Let the sky fall. It looks more orangey on camera. Um, it's like one of those movies where they have the special effects where like 
<laughs> it's like 4D, I think yeah, they call it. Like a Disney World. Yeah, like a Disney World. <laughs> Do you want to go run in the yard, Ollie? You could go with Peter and go chase a ball. Does that sound fun? My mom and I are going to go finish our blanket. Then we're going to play in the yard. Sounds like a plan. And then we're going to go have Thanksgiving dinner. Another fall tree. Fall tree update 2015. Fall tree update 2015. All right, we're back from the movies and we are going to finish our blanket. We stretched out since the anchor fabric was so much bigger or stretchier, we're not sure which. Um, we pinned it to just, to just get it yeah. figured out. And then we will sew it just like we did those two. All right, so once you have your two blankets sewn together and then the other two, then you just overlap the edges again like we did and then zzz, all the way down there. Match and sew. Match and sew. And that is how it's done. So, that's the story. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's actually the next day, but my mom was able to finish it. And, let's see, you got it back here. It's got it. There it is. Look at that. Magical adult baby blanket. King, yes, I think it is king size. King size baby blanket. Nice. Yes. Oh. We're going to call it a blanket scarf. A blanket scarf. There you go. Ooh. It's Thanksgiving dinner. We are going to be... We believe we're going to be in Massachusetts for Thanksgiving. We believe it. <laughs> yeah. We believe it to be true. <laughs> yeah. So, we are having my mom. It's so sweet to make us Thanksgiving dinner here tonight. Yay. So, from our hearts to yours. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Early. Yeah. <laughs> and this dish right here is here, one of my. This is my Thanksgiving uh, what do we call this? Tradition. Favorite, tradition okay. favorite of mine. It's cranberry apple crunch. It's basically like a cranberry apple cobbler, right? But we eat it with dinner because dessert is always better with dinner. So <laughs> leave a comment down below and let, it, let, let, us, let us know what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. And if you're outside of the States, well, Thanksgiving... It's just like any other holiday. So what's your favorite holiday meal? Let me tell you, I'm going to run the Hudson Derby. Yours was that race. Yours was really I know, Mrs. Bell, that's what I'm saying. We're doing it again. Well, guys, Peter slept for a few hours on the couch. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling pretty sick. My cold, like, took a turn for the worse. But oh. I'm all right. I just... Don't feel great, but yeah. So I think they'll be able to hear the progression throughout the day. Yeah. Oh, I just put peppermint under my nose. Peppermint oil. Yeah. Burn and yeah. burn the germs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, we will see you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. It's not like I went in, got pills, and felt all better or anything. You know, it's cystic fibrosis, it's an everyday battle. <laughs>